The Boeing 737 went down in the St. John's River near Naval Air Station Jacksonville. Authorities said the charter jet was coming in for a landing from a military base in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, when it apparently slid off a runway and into the water. 136 passengers and seven crew members were on board. In the cabin, a mixture of civilians and military personnel. Cheryl Borman, an attorney from Chicago, was on the flight and spoke to CNN. As we went down, um, we had a really hard landing, and then the plane bounced and, um, and screeched and bounced some more, and it lifted to the right, and then it lifted to the left, and then it sort of swerved. And, and then it came to a complete, like, like a crash stop. Fire and rescue crews arrived shortly afterwards. 21 people were treated at the base, with some going to local hospitals. There were no critical injuries or fatalities. I hit my head on, on um, the uh, plastic tray that is in the seat in front of you. Um, I'm not injured, thankfully. Um, just a little bump on the head. Borman said she and other passengers climbed onto the wings of the plane and described a chaotic scene. We were in water. We couldn't tell where we were, whether it was a river or an ocean. Um, there was rain coming down. There was lightning and thunder. Um, and we stood on that wing for a significant period of time. The rescue folks came. Eventually, somebody inflated a life raft that had been on the plane. Uh, and we began climbing into it. It's unclear if severe weather played a role in the crash. There was a tropical disturbance in the area Friday night. I think it's, uh, it is a miracle. Uh, it could have ended very, we could be talking about a different story this evening. So I think there's a lot to say about uh, the professionalism of the folks that helped the passengers off the airplane. There's a, a lot to say about, about that because it very well could be worse.